Hello, welcome back to another episode of Next Station Wrong Konkuma. I'm your host, Ashley. I'm your host, Danny. Hello. Good. I always want to say, like, good afternoon. It's like good evening right good now. Good evening. Yeah. Good morning, if it's morning when you're listening. Right now it's evening. For some, you, I okay. <laughs> I'm just saying. Some people might be listening in the morning. Yes, I understand that. I'm just saying. But right at this current point in time, it's evening. That's all For us. Yes. All right. I so might whatever listen, may apply to you. I might listen to this tomorrow morning. Yeah, I'm trying to be considerate, considerate yeah. of the listeners. If you're listening to this tomorrow morning, thank you. You're a, you're an MVP listener. But then tomorrow, if you're th- if they're listening to it tomorrow morning, is it? <laughs> it's gonna be the next morning after one. I'm trying listening. to give them some positive reinforcement. <laughs> Doesn't matter when tomorrow is, as long as they listen to it. All it's right. fine. Thank you for listening. Exactly. It's it's in a roundabout way. That's what I'm saying. It's all that matters. What the fuck's going on down here? Here. Your list, that's not you? That's Buddy. So fucking... <laughs> you're guess. here, you're listening, you're supporting us. We appreciate it. We definitely appreciate it. Thank you. Keep on sharing with your friends. Sharing is caring. We appreciate that. Keep on, you know, follow if you don't already on all, you know, social medias, YouTube, because uh, you don't want to miss out once we... Start posting there. We post every week on Wednesday. Yeah, we do. <clears throat> that was a trick question. It wasn't a question either. It's a trick statement. The camera's going to go right there. I did. It's not there yet. The stand isn't there yet either, but the camera's going to go right there. I do have a question, though. What's um, up? Kind of. Who's fucking? What? So, like, we, as you may know, if you've been listening consecutively, is that the word? Sure. Um, if not, go back and listen. But either way, we moved from New York, Long Island, to Tennessee. What the fuck is my cat doing? It's distracting. We're currently living in Tennessee. Um, and you know, there's been some mm, learning curves, cultural culture shock, cultural yeah, cultural things <clears throat> that we're learning. And just getting used to. And also being homeowners. Never did that. Yeah. First time for everything. We're navigating a lot right now. But it's all good. Because we're doing it together. And we're having a great time. And that looks like a really bad idea. (laughs) I'm just shifting this over. Danny's balancing his phone on a beer can. Yeah. It's a recipe for disaster. It's a beer pong table. Um... But just little things have been coming up, you know, with being homeowners and being in a new state and, I don't know, just little things. I know we've talked about some things. And Danny constantly looks at me like he needs to say something, so it's very distracting to try to keep my train of thought. Yes, Daniel? (laughs) Well, I was raising my hand. Even more distracting. To tell you that when you're done with this train of thought, I have something to add to it when you're done. Go ahead. I didn't even start, but yeah, go ahead. Oh, okay. Well, you can go ahead. No, don't. (laughs) Just say it. Well, you were saying the cultural differences and stuff. Yeah. And I was going to bring up the whole red light thing. Oh, go on. Was that that part of your train? No. Okay. I was going more towards the homeowner thing. All right. So, red lights. So, apparently, we were informed... That in Tennessee, they don't have traffic lights. They don't call them. They don't, yeah, I'm sorry. They don't refer to them as traffic lights like we do. They refer to them as red lights or stop lights. Even if the light's green. The light could be green, the light could be yellow, it could be red. But they call them red lights or stop lights. Mm-hmm. Which both means stop. Right. We. Yeah. Buddy! Hey! Shh. <laughs> Look at him. Look at him. Um, so we were just at a, a, a party recently, and there was other fellow New Yorkers there. Not just us. And uh, this fucking thing. Can you just move this a little? Okay. 
Jesus. <laughs> so many noises. I'm sorry. There was fellow New Yorkers there telling a story about, and they like mentioned a traffic light. And one of our friends was like, we, we don't call those traffic lights. We call, we call those red lights. And I just, it, it all clicked because I've been driving with other, like with, I'm still in training with my new job. And the other drivers are telling me like, oh, at that, at that red light, turn left or at that red light, turn right or whatever. And I'm, I don't see any red lights. I see green lights. I see yellow lights. I don't see any red lights when they say this. Yeah. So that we went over that. And then today I'm back with my original trainer and he says, oh yeah, up at that, at that red light up ahead, make a right. I'm like, motherfucker. It all makes sense. I, mm -hmm. cause I never understood what he, like, I just, I never knew that. I just kind of went with it, but now, now it'll make sense. Go I think ahead. you're rubbing your sweatshirt on the table or something. Um, that also something else they mentioned when we were at this party with the fellow New Yorkers. <laughs> yeah. Um, cause then, you know, conversation starts like, Oh, what else do you guys say that like is weird? <laughs> <laughs> Somebody said, um, that like, if, like, if you say something to somebody and they don't hear you right, they'll say, do what? Yeah. Instead of like, we might say like, say what? What was or that? like, what was that? Yeah. yeah. They say, do what? And I heard somebody say that when we were leaving Shoney's the other day. Really? <laughs> yeah. He said it. Like, I think um, the hostess or whatever came up to him and she was like, oh, do you need a table or a booth? And he's like, do what? And I was like, <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> they really do say that. Yes. Whew. Interesting. There was another one, too. Oh, if they're giving you directions and you miss your turn, they don't say, oh, you're supposed to turn there. They're just like, they'll just say to you, where are you, go where are you going? Where are you going? <laughs> <laughs> Even though you're, they're supposed to be telling you exactly. where you're going. You're supposed to be turning left there. You just drive past and they're like, where are you going? <laughs> Instead of, oh, you're supposed to turn there. Like, Yeah. They also measure in a bit. <laughs> down, the, down the way a bit. Yeah. On the busy road. Yeah, down yonder a bit. <laughs> what? A Give me a landmark, please. <laughs> yeah. A measurement, maybe. Yeah, quarter mile, mile, half mile, something. Two stop signs, like <laughs> two traffic lights. Nope. 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 Um, we talked a couple episodes ago about my struggle with furniture and my um, hate for it. Um, <laughs> well, you hate it. You just hate shopping for it. The pro I hate the process. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but also a, a big thing I've found a struggle with. <laughs> it's such like a first world problem. I know. And like now that I'm a homeowner, it's a problem. It's really not a problem. But <laughs> I can't wait um, to hear this. Like scents. Like air fresheners and things like that. Okay. Like I'm struggling because I I don't know. I never thought of this to be an issue, but it's an issue. What is a struggle? <laughs> I bought air fresheners for our uh, bathrooms. Yeah. <clears throat> Just like those. Um, I think it's Febreze or something. The, the small like space. small space air fresheners. Yeah. Yeah. We had one of those on a truck. It was great. What's the problem? Yeah, and we <clears throat> excuse me discovered that I bought um, this like cit citrus scented one. Oh, the one in our bathroom. That one sucks. Right, and we yeah. discovered that we don't like citrus smells. Right. Because <laughs> like I put it in there, and like the next day I'm like, I don't know all this. I'm like I. Yeah. I don't know, and then you're like, yeah, I don't, I don't really like it. I'm like. Like, that's a struggle because I'm like, well, now we got to just have it. I'm not going to throw it out. Like, it's yeah. well, fine, but you, you said, I don't like it. You said, like, oh, you want to just throw it out? I'm like, no, it's already there. Just <laughs> leave it until leave it until it's empty. We can suffer. It's fine. I don't know. It's like the whole, like, it's not just, like, smelling it. It's like a scent is supposed to give you some kind of feeling, like a happy or, like, a calm or, you know? Yeah. And that 
just doesn't do it. Like, it just makes me mad. And it's, it's, it's hard to pick scents for rooms. Why does the scent of citrus make you mad, though? It doesn't. It makes me mad that I don't like it and I have to deal <laughs> with it. <laughs> well, I... Like, put, maybe in, like, the kitchen you yeah. want to smell like... I don't know. In the kitchen, I want to smell apple pie and cinnamon buns. Yeah. Yeah, like a cinnamon yeah. candle or something. Mm -hmm. But, like, in the laundry room, I put a black ice air freshener, and now it's gone. I don't yeah. know what happened to it. <laughs> Where'd it go, babe? Um, you see, I work pretty close to the laundry room. Yeah. And it was fucking strong. So it was killing my nostrils. You don't have to sit down here all day. I do. So it went in the garbage. Cool. Great. Just let it be known that Danny has like 10,000 black ice air fresheners. So it's perfectly okay. You don't even like using those ones anymore. Little kids in the sweatshops, like, were forced to make those. You just threw their you just threw away their hard work. It was used. Actually, I don't know if that's even true at all. Are those made in the USA? I, have I no don't idea. know. I'll get it back was, to you on that. It was used just fine. I threw it out after it was used enough. But now I feel like, um. Oh, yeah, because then I got another small space air freshener for the laundry room, but I got, like, the linen one. Yeah. That makes sense. It's fine. Perfect sense. And I feel like after a day or two, it's not as strong. So, like, it's it's good. It's mellow. But I'm, I'm struggling with scent choices. The struggle that I'm having with the scents right now is the litter box. Yeah, it's hard to... Even if the cats don't go in it, just like you said, the litter, the right. litter scent itself is just like overwhelming. Right. I think I might try this trick I saw to put baking soda at the bottom. Okay. Like you put baking soda on the bottom of the litter box and then you put the litter in. Yeah. And it's supposed to like trap the scent. Like, I don't know how well that's going to work, but, but yeah, it's like the smell of the litter yeah. that is strong. Like, at least you're not smelling cat piss, but, like, I don't, I don't know how to... I don't want to smell any of it. Right. You know? So, I got this, like, odor absorber to try. Okay. To put, like, next to the litter boxes to try to just trap it all. I don't know. We'll see. It's a struggle. It's a homeowner struggle. Yeah. At least it's not, us. like... It's not, like, upstairs, like, in a bathroom or something. Like, right. Because I know some people, like keep their litter box like in the bathroom yeah like we don't we don't have anywhere else to keep it really but so at least it's downstairs but yeah i so i'm not citrus but like i'm a fan of like i guess like cozy scents you know what like, is your definition of a cozy scent i don't really know how to describe it like almost the ones that are more like cologne smelling, you Cl know? Close your eyes and picture it. Yeah. What do you see? Mm -hmm. Your eyes are still open. Uh, <laughs> Close your eyes. Picture it. Well. Well. That's not help. I don't know. It depends also. Like what room are we talking? Living room. Cozy. Yeah. Go. So like, um... Name five cozy scents. Go. <laughs> I can't. I can't. I don't know. I can't name it. I can't. All right. I keep wanting to say like wood, but I don't. That's not what I mean at all. Not like a pine? No. No. Mahogany? Mm. Ooh. A nice oak? What's that one candle I have? Not mahogany, but it's close. A cashmere one? Cashmere. Yes. What is that? I don't fucking know. What does that look like? Isn't that a fabric? Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. That I like that. Okay. But that's I can't picture that. I don't know. I I don't know what cashmere looks like either. How do you know that? Because <laughs> we were I talking didn't about think the other gonna, Yeah. Oh yeah. When we went to Cracker Barrel, they have yeah. all the candles. Exactly. The cashmere. Yeah. It's a nice scent. Whatever the fuck that is. Yeah. It's yeah. a nice. 
homey scent. But you know what I mean? Like, it's almost like cologne-ish. Yeah. Like, it's... It's I don't know how to... It's a welcoming scent. Yeah. Just warm, like... Yeah. Yeah. And I feel like... I smelled the air freshener that was like the waters of Bora Bora or something like that. It smelled pretty nice. I want to go to Bora Bora. Yeah, it was like, yeah, refreshing. I feel like also, though, with the whole like home decor thing, you need everything to kind of like go together more like a feng shui. Like, yes, the color of the room has to my struggle, the feng shui. I know. We don't have it yet. I, well, you don't let me, like, plan things, so with this. Huh? We were talking about things last night, like, oh, we should put this over here and put that over there. We were, we were working on something. We were oh. cooking. I'm sorry. Yeah. Um, But the color of the room also affects how you feel about it. Yeah. Like, studies show that when you have red walls, you're more angry. You're a more angry person. Brighter colors like that. Yeah. But, you know, I feel like you walk into, like, a very vibrant blue room, you can't smell citrus. I would go with more of, like, an ocean spray. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And then, like, a like an orange or yellow kitchen type of deal. Maybe citrus. Yeah. I don't know. That's just my opinion on it. Like, most of our house is gray and white. Mm -hmm. thanks previous owners use the same paint in almost every room (laughs) it's fine but it's good to match it's easy to match with yeah pretty easy but now it's like what color do like what scent do we do with gray i feel like the cap like the cashmere Mm -hmm. or like a chamomile i don't know maybe not maybe not chamomile i don't know i don't even know what chamomile really smells like i just kind of sounds like it would work yeah but the cashmere candle definitely works. And like maybe like a vanilla scent. Mm-hmm. Those are nice too. But I don't know. I'm not a candle person. I've never shopped for candles before. <laughs> yeah, but not even candles. Just like, you know, the air freshener or whatever. Whatever air freshener we had in the truck for Schneider, that works. Whatever that one was, just get, just get that one again. I don't remember. It'll work in every room. I might <laughs> remember. I just said out the window. That one air freshener works in everything. I might remember if I see it. I've smelt it since that truck. Yeah. In one of our houses. Yeah. I just don't remember. Yeah. There you go. Mm-hmm. You're on to something. What What was it? What was it? It was, a, it was the small space. Right. I don't know. I don't remember the name of it. Damn it. But like I said, if I see it, I probably would remember. Okay. Yeah. All right. So we just spent a lot of time on that. So what's <laughs> yeah. next? I didn't anticipate that much time on it. But yeah. uh, um, I have a question. Or do you want to do name five? Do you have any other homeowner things you wanted to talk about besides that? Kind of. Um, Hit me. Do you ever... Well, I'll just ask it flat out. Do you shower facing forward or backwards? Do you face the shower head or is your back facing the shower head? Both. I knew you, I knew you were going to say that. That's that's what makes sense. What do you mean? What? You're always facing away? What do you mean both? What are you doing facing? When I'm washing the front. I'm oh, well. Like- <laughs> fuck you mean? <laughs> okay, I should I should be more specific maybe. Thank you. Because right now you kind of sound crazy. What do you mean? (laughs) When you're washing your hair. I don't have the problem of hair that you have. I get a one and a half skin fade. I know. I know. It's not the same when when you don't have a lot of hair. I know. But still. Is it kind of just both still? Yeah. You just rotate? Yeah. Like a rotisserie chicken in the shower? Exactly. Like you Maybe you, if I had somebody else here to ask. <laughs> you spray yourself down and then spray yourself. Yeah. Like you get yourself like 
What? And then like the fr- like you s- oh, save your oh, chest. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just you know, I'm working hard these days, six days a week and shit. So like when I'm after I rinse like rinse the front, I turn around, I s- lather it up with soap, and then I turn around and rinse it again. Mm-hmm. Then I do the back, and then same thing. Wash, rinse, repeat. Wait, that just opened up a whole nother question. You, oh, shit. you wet, wash, rinse, and then turn around, wet, r- wash, rinse? Yeah. Why don't you just do it all at the same time? Because I want to make sure That's I'm why like... That's you take so fucking long in the shower. Yeah. What? Because Wet the also- whole body, wash the whole body, rinse the whole body, and get the fuck out. What are you doing? I enjoy a nice warm shower after a long day. Right. Or a nice cold shower after a long day. And plus, my soap. See the way my soap is set up? It's like, you like, scrub. <laughs> and exfoliate. I'm sorry, I asked. Okay. We... <laughs> I guess uh, we see who's paying the water bill. Um, we still haven't gotten the water bill yet. I don't know. Like, I'm, I'm, our neighbors like we're we're just like ranting about how the water is so expensive here, and I have yet to see a water bill that says that. Yeah. Granted, we haven't. We've we've been here over a month now. Yeah. The but, electric knock on wood was not bad. But, um... A knock on wood. I don't know. We'll see if... <laughs> if I'm gonna hand the water bill over to Danny with his exfoliating... Ex- <laughs> exfoliating Don't hate showers. on me because I'm exfoliating. I have exfoliator in the shower. I don't use it because I'm in a rush. <laughs> we are, we're in the south now. We can't be rushing through everything. I know. Sometimes I listen to people talk, and I'm like, whoa. When I went up in the mountains the other day. Really slow. I didn't understand anything the guy was saying, but he was complimenting my haircut. (laughs) It took me a minute to figure out, like, what was that, bud? And he's like, who cuts your hair like that? What is that, a skin fade? You should have said, do what? I I didn't know that. (laughs) Please don't start saying that. No, 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 no. But he was he was complimenting my skin fade because it was fresh that day. It was right after I got my hair cut. Yeah. All right. Well, there's that. Um, to answer your question, I. To, I mean, to answer my question, I shower. I wash my hair. Facing away from the shower head. That makes sense. It you does. Have long hair. Yeah, but like sometimes you see in like fucking commercials and movies and shit. There's these females, like, or, you know, people with long hair, I've seen, and they're, like, facing the shower head. I'm like, aren't you fucking drowning? Oh, why, that's, why are you... they're acting. They're not actually doing anything. I know, that's why I want to know, like, if people actually do that or not. Or if it's just in movies. You should make a poll on Instagram. I'm gonna. Yeah. Answer the poll. Because, uh... Please and thank you. Like I said, like, I don't have that issue. I don't have a lot. I don't have a lot of hair there, up there. Yeah, no, it makes sense. But yeah, I guess for people with long hair, that was more my question. Yeah. Yeah, it's wild. So, uh, this weather down here has been a little, a little <laughs> weird. How about the weather? It's been up, down, all around. Today was pretty cold. Yeah, it was. And uh, still rocking shorts and a t-shirt all day long. It was 50. Right? Not this morning at 4 oh, o'clock no. in the morning when I was out there. This morning it was like 30. Tomorrow morning is going to be even colder. I know. The guy I was working with today, he uh, he kind of like made fun of me because since we've been working together, I've worn shorts and a t-shirt every day. And I wear the sweatshirt to the truck. And then we get to the first stop and the sweatshirt comes off because I'm like sweating instantly. Even working in a freezer section of the trailer, I'm still, like, sweating because I'm working. 
so today we got back to the yard and I put the sweatshirt back on. He's like, why are you putting it back on now? It's like 50 degrees. I'm like, I don't want to carry it. Danny hates <laughs> carrying things. And he's like, all day long, even up at this one spot we were at, it was really cold. It was up in the mountains. And he's like, you were just walking around with t-shirt and shorts all day. And now you put it on? I'm like, yeah, I don't want to carry it. But uh, also, I just want to clear something up here. My old job, I didn't really work full-time hours. I'm pretty sure everyone knows that. This is a big culture shock for me here, that I'm working like a lot of hours. I'm working excessive full-time hours now. I haven't done this in years. And it's a, it's a good change of pace. I'm working so much I have no time to spend money, besides on my bills. But like, it's a lot of hours. Today was 12 hours. Tomorrow's probably going to be 12 hours. Great. I worked on Saturday. It was like 10 hours. Mm-hmm. I'm not complaining. I'm just letting you guys know. <laughs> if if I haven't answered a text message or returned a call recently, don't take it personal. My phone is on vibrate up on the sun visor, not answering calls at the moment while I'm working anymore. Mm-hmm. At this current point in time. That may change. I'll let you know. It will. Okay. Once you're not with somebody anymore. Yeah. So what you were saying? Do what? Name five. Do it. Do what? I was done with my shower talk. Okay. We are going to do a name five. Okay. You have one? Or you want me to start? You can start. Name five Seth Rogen movies. (sighs) This should be easy. Very easy. Knocked up. Yep. Does a voice over account? <laughs> um, depends. It doesn't depend. No. Were you trying to knock points? It doesn't points? depend. Were you trying to knock points on me for... No, I told you that counted for oh. Steve Carell. Um, so then, yeah. Um, Wait, I didn't start the timer. Shit, I'm bad at this. I have that other movie in my head. I just can't get it out. I said knocked up. You did. Um, Pineapple Express. Yep. What's the other? Uh, fuck. Uh, Monsters vs. Aliens. He does a voice in that. Does he? Um. Yeah. Um. This is the end. Okay, that's four. Uh, shit. Is he in This Is 40? I'm thinking of... Um, no. Uh, the other one. Wait. Oh, yeah. Confirmed. He is in Monsters vs. Aliens. Um, you have one minute. It should be less because I started the timer late, but I'll give you that. Yeah, you did. Um, you got four. Hmm. He is not in This Is 40. No. He was in the movie before that, Knocked Up. Yeah. Hmm. I'm blanking. Blanking. On four. That's mm-hmm. better than I usually do. Yeah, 30 seconds. Mm. Mm. What are you thinking? I can't tell you the answer. <laughs> I could tell you the answer in 15 seconds. Mm. Damn. What did you say again? You said knocked up. Knocked up, Pineapple Express, Monsters vs. Aliens. Um, this is the end. That's it. I was going to say Sausage Party. Oh, yeah. Neighbors. Neighbors. That's the one I was fucking thinking of. Isn't he in another one with Paul Rudd? Funny People. Funny People. That's Adam Sandler. Um, 
I always got to IMDB it after because I feel like there was another one I was thinking of. Oh, fucking super bad. Duh. Yeah. Hi. Um, yeah, I forgot about Sausage Party. That's a funny one. Long oh, shot. the fucking, uh, the superhero movie that he's in. The interview. Long shot I've seen, yeah. 50-50, Guild Trip. 40-Year-Old yeah, Virgin. Dumb Money. That I think the that's one. the one I was thinking of, too. 40-Year-Old Virgin. Um, 50-50. Love that movie. The Green Hornet. That's the superhero one. He was in that? Yes. I heard that one was a flop. Yes. <laughs> okay. All right. Your turn. All right. Cool. Mine... Is um name five cat breeds <laughs> lion tiger no those are big cats domesticated well yeah, maybe domesticated yeah doesn't Mike Tyson have a tiger <laughs> or a lion one of those so there's the tabby. There's a tuxedo. There's a. What's the fuck? Calico. There's a Russian blue. Mm-hmm. And then there's a. Fuck. What was the one? What was Lily? Big cat. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Forget the name of it. Yeah. So I was just close. Saw, saw it the other day too. Mm-hmm. I said Tabby. Mm-hmm. I already did. What the one with the big eyes? Big eyes? Yeah. Maine Coon. Yep. Good job. Thanks. I was also thinking of Siamese. Oh, yeah. I would have never guessed the Blue Russian if I didn't work with this guy recently. What one with the big eyes are you talking about? The fucking cat. (laughs) The fucking cat. Hold on. I feel like I'm picturing like a cat with big eyes, but... It's going to Google cat with big eyes. (laughs) I don't think that's going to... Get you the answer you're looking for. Do um, no. Persian and British short hair. Oh. Yeah, I feel like. Or a Scottish fold. The Scottish Fold. Their ears. The fuck is the Scottish Fold? <gasps> oh. <laughs> Little ears. The ears are folded. Yeah. They're so cute. Or a munchkin cat. With the, I don't know. With the little legs. I'm not a... I'm still not really a cat person. No, but you did better on that than I thought you would. That's pretty good. I'm still an animal lover. I just don't particularly go for cats me either nobody believes me but i don't believe i you. didn't choose the cat life they chose me the fucking cat woke me up this morning pissed me off oh <laughs> yeah she did yeah you fucker <laughs> this fucking cat <laughs> they cats love climbing on things especially when they're high up just they just like climbing and we have a headboard like a wood headboard with like a couple shelves on it and she decided at 2 a.m to go on an adventure on our headboard and 
I had put a box on like the top part of my side. So I'm assuming she was trying climbing up on the top and then got to the box and had to walk, try to walk around it. And she stepped down on the shelf underneath it. And I had two like old plaque sign things it's kind of standing up like leaning not secure and they fell so she went fucking flying and woke both of us up <laughs> Did we both like sat up i sat up because i saw her basically coming for my face like she was gonna fall on my face or the signs that were falling i'm like i'm gonna get hit in the fucking head with something right now so yeah. i my phone too Fell straight through to the floor. Yeah, that all because it hit my the signs hit my phone and yeah, it all fell to the floor. Um, so yeah, I sat up really quick. <laughs> Danny sat up. Danny's phone is not on. Do not disturb. Danny sat up and he was. <laughs> what did you say? You're like, what the fuck happened? <laughs> what the fuck is that? I was pissed. <laughs> screamed like <laughs> trying to sleep just like, in this what fucking the fuck ca- was that i'm like what? because whenever i'm trying to sleep this cat's either trying to fucking go under the bed <laughs> climb up next to my head like use my pillow as a springboard to jump onto the headboard <laughs> i'm just like what the fuck i'm trying to sleep but it's mean to lock them out of the room can't do that it's mean for me to lose sleep because they want to fucking go under the bed. She was, they haven't done that. She was like. Because you blocked it off. Yeah. They haven't done it. Like two nights ago, Danny went to bed and then I came to bed a little while later. And she's like, uh, Jovi's like climbing like in his face basically and i'm like fuck she's gonna wake him up she didn't so i'm sure they do a lot more throughout the night that you don't even hear fucking cats they're fucking cats it's the only explanation we just need to get a dog now but yeah make it even better put the cats wake your ass up to take them outside put the cats in their place would you what the yeah that's the fucking cats. <laughs> I told you they like to climb on things. Yeah. They're currently climbing on, on the, the dish, washer. On the yeah, washing machine, yeah. <laughs> now Joby has to go investigate what's going on. Anyway. I have another question. Yes. Um, do you prefer candy or chocolate? Chocolate. I thought so. Or Reese's. I prefer Reese's or Bunch of Crunch. But that's all chocolate. Exactly. I don't like nerds or... <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> what are those other things you get? The Sour Patch Kids, Watermelon? Those are okay. But oh, like, I won't go to my Sour Patch Watermelon, yeah. 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 But like other like fruity candies are just... No. Yeah. Like hard candy or fruity candy or yeah. sour candy. You mean like a Crunch Bar, Reese's, Kit Kat? I can't do sour candy. Twix. Like the Sour Patch Watermelon, that's like as sour as I go. Yeah. Other like candies, like no. No. Yeah. I feel like if I do, like if I am in the mood for a candy, like a sweet sour candy, like I also have to have chocolate. Like, if I go to the movies and I get Sour Patch Watermelon, I have to also get Bunch of Crunch. Yeah. Because if I'm just sitting there eating sour candy, I, then, like, I'll want to offset it with something. You always have to offset it? Yes. Always. Actually, right before we started the podcast, I I basically ate a charcuterie board. Um, minus the board. Minus, minus, uh, I had a slice of cheese and some clementines. <laughs> That's not a charcuterie board whatsoever. There's no board, there's no meats. 
Anyway. Um, but yeah, it was like, you know, a slice of cheese, something salty, and then clementines was sweet. So yeah, I do that pretty often. Yeah. It was mixing and matching things. Yeah. Off offsetting. I don't I don't like to combine them very often though. We've talked about that, like a salty and sweet thing. Right. Yeah. Um <laughs> Like, you won't go out of your way to get, like, ice cream with, like, salted caramel. No, I don't like salted caramel. Yeah. Excuse me. Do not like salted caramel. Yeah. Just caramel. I like caramel in my frozen coffee. Mm Mm-hmm. Not really on your ice cream, though. No. Never. Never. (laughs) Never. But, like, a Dunkin' frozen caramel coffee... That hits the spot every time. Mm. Even though it's never the same taste every time. It's always very inconsistent. It still hits the spot. But now the the whole Dutch Bros thing. I was going to say even really, better. Yes. Sorry, Duncan. Dutch Bros <laughs> got you by a fucking mile and a half. Dutch Bros. Was it the Golden Eagle? Yes. Blended, blended freeze. It's vanilla and caramel. Yeah. Mm. It's fire. Love it. Like, why is it so good? Because it's not good for you. It's, yeah, it's like, it's really not. I wouldn't suggest drinking one of those before going to do a blood pressure test. <laughs> They're not going to be happy. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, yeah, because there's espresso in it. But um, Yeah, it's like blended espresso. I forget what the name. It's like some weird name. But, yeah, it's like blended espresso with half and half or... Something like that, like I don't know. It's fucking delicious. Yeah. But yeah. Don't uh don't recommend it often. But they also have like tons of other drinks, like teas and lemonades and they have energy drinks and Yeah. Uh shakes and I wanna try like some of their other stuff. My problem though is I do this all the time, is I go to a place and I get something I like and then I just keep getting the same thing. I know. I never vary. It's hard once you have something you like. Yeah. Because then we actually, did you send me something the other day that said like the worst disappointment yeah. is spending money on a, on, uh, I'm not going to say it right. <laughs> no, Hillbilly posted it. Uh, yeah. What do you say? Yeah, whatever you say. Spending money on disappointing food is a different type of pain. Yes. And then he said, always a heartbreaker. Yes. Yes. It really is, especially these days. Oh, yeah. Because nothing is fucking cheap. You you can't... You, like, we've... Like, been... We've been, like, noticing or keeping track somewhat. Like, no matter where you go, it, for two people, you're spending at least $30. Yeah. Like... Uh, unless you get like Little Caesars, yeah, I, yeah. If like, it's cooked, it's rare. <laughs> it's rare to be able to find. And I'm not talking about like grocery shopping. I'm talking about like Going getting out food, food out. Yeah, but even like fast food, like even food that's supposed to, that used to be cheap. <laughs> yeah, like it's not anymore. The first like breakfast we had down here, we went to Waffle House. It was thirty dollars flat. Yeah, for Waffle House. Yeah. That used to be like 20. <laughs> yeah. Like not even. Like breakfast used to be cheap, I feel like. Yeah. Like you're not supposed to go out and spend 40 bucks on breakfast. I used to get mad when we go to the California diner and get anything besides breakfast because it'd be like $80. Yeah, well, after tip yeah diners are expensive like the food was good but we went there so often and then just like i was like what the fuck every time we go here it's like 65 to 80 dollars actually speaking of expensive food for no reason um danny reminded me that we are approaching or have already reached our one year podcasting the idea for us to start a podcast happened one year ago today. Today? Today. 
Oh, goodness. That's when the idea happened. It wasn't our first episode. Okay, okay. But that's when the idea happened. Yeah, the first episode didn't air until what, May? First week of May? I think so. Yeah. I'm not positive. But also, that wasn't the first episode that we recorded. Right, yeah. Yeah. We recorded like three that did never aired. <laughs> and they will never air, but they never That's did. not true. It was like two. Are you sure? Oh, we did like a lot of tests. Exactly. But we we bought like podcast equipment and then returned all of it to buy this stuff instead. Yeah, it wasn't working. Not at all. But Danny reminded me of that, so I asked him if he to celebrate if we should go to Cheesecake Factory. He said no. No, I lied. He, you didn't say no. You said my stomach hurts just from hearing you say that. Yeah. <laughs> Apparently, Cheesecake Factory does not do good on Danny's stomach. Yeah, no, it doesn't. Or my wallet. <laughs> <laughs> but we're gonna go. We're we're gonna we're gonna go we'll, one day. We'll take the hike. Yeah. On the Kingston bike. Yeah. To go to Cheesecake Factory. I don't know. We can. I just. Uh, <laughs> I. I. Mm, the Buffalo Blasts are so good there. Oh, yeah. And the cheesecake. What the fuck was that? <laughs> <laughs> are you not paying what? attention? Oh, yeah. I don't know. You know. The Buffalo Blasts. Yeah. Just the way you said. Oh, yeah. Like, I would go there, just get appetizers and cheesecake. Yeah. I don't need to go there for anything else. Okay. I don't know. Like I said, I like Cheesecake Factory. I just, I don't know. I like it. My body does not agree with me. Yeah. Well, you have that sometimes with, like, Applebee's, (laughs) Texas Roadhouse. Some places. Texas Roadhouse, it's like, I feel like it's... Like, either it hits you or it hits me. (laughs) Yeah. For some reason. I don't know. But you can, you know, navigate it a little bit differently, maybe, you know. Just not go. Just not go. (laughs) We're going. We got to celebrate. Fuck. All right. All right. Do you have anything else you want to share this week? Um, Just one more thing. I don't, um, we haven't done advice no one asked for in a while i don't necessarily have advice i have a statement more so that um i don't know like how it came up but i've been thinking about it just as different things come up um maybe with moving i don't know but you ever think about how like everything that happens in your life like everything you do whatever there is a last time for everything. Ouch. I know. Like, I don't mean to oh. get... <laughs> Where are you going with this? I don't like it. Sorry. I don't want to end the pod on a bad note. But it might not... It might... It doesn't have to be bad. Oh, no. I'm not trying to be morbid or like... But you ever th- think about that? Not until now. No. Sorry. No, you and Chris pulled the shit last time, and we we all agreed that like I was on a diff- a very different page than you two. Well, no, we were talking about something else, but morbid shit. It doesn't have to be morbid. I know how it sounds, but and it it is it is a little sad, but like new things come and you do new things or new things happen but either way it's pretty crazy to think about like there is a last time for every single thing in your life yes there is whether that doesn't necessarily mean like before you die like that that's not what i'm trying to say it just as you grow like i don't i don't know an example without like being sad but like <laughs> no i there's like the last time you play with your your certain toy you you loved as a kid yeah like there's a last time that you um 
drove this car before. We don't talk about that. Those make me cry. All right. I'm try- I should have thought of a better example. Um, no, like the last time I go bowling in my favorite bowling alley. You know, I moved away and they were going to yeah. you know, talk about closing. The last time, you, yeah, you ate at a restaurant before yeah. you moved or they closed or, you know. Right. Yeah. And you might just not even know. Like, you usually don't know when the last thing happens. Right. So it's kind of wild. It's, it's pretty wild. That's what people say, like, embrace every moment. Yes. Like, it, it circles back to that whole thing. Yeah. It does. Also, it's, you know, even even though you make plans to see somebody tomorrow, like, say, like, hey, man, I'll talk to you tomorrow. Love you, man. See you. Like, even, it, like, it might sound a little like, oh, oh, it's gay or whatever. No, dude. Like, I love my friends. I have no problem saying that. Like, I'll, in, like, a non- like weird way it's just like you know you say it with your family you say it with your friends like you know tell them like say that you mean it like tell them because you never know what tomorrow brings you never know if you'll make it till tomorrow yeah that's like a whole nother topic like oh I'm sorry danny's getting to the morbid side of it but like <laughs> when you start saying things like last time like i i'm sorry i think no i have- I, I was just saying it like in a literal sense like, there is a last time for everything, and that's just crazy to me, yeah. like, to think about. And you just, you usually don't know. Like, when you're doing that thing, you don't always, you don't usually know, like, this is the last time I'm going to do this. Even if it's not, like, a big thing, you know, it's I could tell crazy. You. When uh, I used to be a percussionist, I would drum. The last time I played my drum set... I, I wouldn't have told you it's the last time I'm going to hit use my drumsticks on this drum set. Yeah. I would have never... I couldn't tell you when the last time was going to be. But mm-hmm. it happened. That drum set's gone now. Yeah. I used to play the flute. I can't tell you the last time I played it. Yeah. I, I don't remember that last time being the last time. Right. It just happens. That's a, a more non-morbid example. Yeah. Yeah, and, like, it's still, like, yeah, it doesn't have to be sad. Like, it's just, as you grow, you know, like, those are more, like, childhood examples, too. Like, obviously, there's a lot of last things in your from your childhood. Right. And it's, it's not necessarily a bad thing. It's just, you know, people grow yeah. and change. Not not always bad changes they just grow and they adapt Mm -hmm. and it's uh it's the best way to put it it's like it's not like you said it's not always a sad thing or a bad thing or a morbid thing it's just life yeah it happens and we moved and there's a lot of things that like i you know i'll see not on a not like a bad thing but i might not see a certain person ever again Our, our paths just might not cross yeah. Not necessarily a friend, but like an acquaintance or a work colleague or whatever. Mm-hmm. They might move to the other side of the country. Yeah. I'm over here. They're over there. I might never see them again. The waitress from Chili's. We used oh, to see yeah. her pretty often. We might not ever see her again. That's true. I don't know. I'm going to miss her. <laughs> she was nice. Yeah, we, we will. We, we well, will yeah, definitely yeah. see her she'll, again. She'll but like, be there. We're going to go back and see her. You just don't know. She made sure she told us to come back and see her and bring family and friends. Yeah. So she gets a better tip. <laughs> but yeah, I, I think like probably moving like got me thinking about that. Yeah. You know, not that we're never going to go back home. Like we're going to visit and everything and we're going to see everybody and it's going to happen. But like, what if by the time we get home, like a restaurant that we like closes or like what if, and we never get to go there again or. No, it's true. I don't know, just even silly things like that. But that's a risk you have to take when you move. Yeah. You know, you, you're leaving your comfort zone to better yourself with a new opportunity. And not everyone likes that idea, but it happens, and you have to embrace it. Mm-hmm. You know, I I definitely wanted to move here, but at, at the same time, there's things holding me back that wanted me to stay. It was my comfort zone. The three F's. Family, 
friends food. It'll get you. Yes. And we still miss the three F's every day. Yeah. <laughs> I miss my family. I miss all my friends, my homies. I miss the food. The food here sucks. <laughs> That's why we cook a lot. It forces you to cook. I see now why people say that. Yeah. Like, oh, it's just better when you cook at home. That's not the case on Long Island. Right. <laughs> it's not. The food. Not in, always. I'm sorry to all the restaurant owners in Knoxville, but so far, like, I haven't found anything to write home about, at least. Do better. That burrito place we went to the other night was pretty good. Yes, and the burger place. The bur- Yeah, the burgers. And then also that Mexican spot we went to like two weeks ago or last weekend. Yeah. Not this past weekend, the weekend before. Yeah, those are good. But. Yeah, like there's very few compared to what we're used to. Yeah. Like we used to be able to throw a football anywhere and there was a good food spot right there. Mm-hmm. Even the bodega by my house. Yeah. The beef patties and cheese just hit different there. I don't know Pe- why. Good pizza places on every fucking corner. Yeah. Bagel stores. Even places you wouldn't want to walk into, you'd know you can get a good slice of pizza there. Yeah. Here? No. Mm -mm. No good pizza. No good Italian food. I still haven't tried the Italian food. I can't bring myself to do it. I know. We're going to do it, though, just for (sighs) scientific purposes. But, like, I'm sorry. Being, especially being... An Italian from Long Island? Like, who puts a fucking... Who puts a Greek section on their Italian restaurant menu? Like, I'm sorry, what? No, you don't do that. You don't You do not do that. It's they very... They don't have vodka sauce. All they have is marinara <laughs> and meat sauce. Ashley does like, not like meat sauce either. I don't like meat sauce. I Marinara or vodka don't... Don't make it chunky. Um, (laughs) Because I like the actual sauce. You have a meat sauce. Like, there's not a lot of... You're taken away from the sauce part. Yeah. Um, I know. You like your sauces. Yeah. Give me some meat sauce, but, like, have extra sauce. Plain sauce on the side, I guess. (laughs) I know. I know. I know. Anyway, Anyway, we're we're still going to go and try it. Yeah, I've... The last time we went to the pizza plate, the, the Italian restaurant by the shop, we I would have never told you that was our last time going there because the last meal we got there was absolutely incredible. I went as far as I got a custom sauce made for me. We're sitting there. The waiter comes over. I'm like, yo, give me a vodka meat sauce, a vodka bolognese sauce. He's like, what? He's like, I don't know if I could do that. He went back there. The chef's like, my man. <laughs> and he made it and it was absolutely incredible yeah the staff was just as excited as danny yeah i i don't know what made me think of it that day i've never asked that before but they made it and it was incredible it and was the, and the chef was like my man and for whatever <laughs> reason we never went back we never went back <laughs> i don't know why it all goes full circle we should have went back we you never know I used to... We can go back. Yeah. Ashley used to always say I was starving her as we're working. Like, I'm working on something at the shop, and all you smell is the... (sighs) Fucking garlic. Like... (laughs) The amazing scent of an Italian restaurant across the street. It smelled like the most amazing Italian restaurant. Probably also because I was starving, but, like... It really did smell so good. Not good when you're not being fed, and that's all you're smelling. Yeah. Like, I'm working on something. I'm like, I'm almost done. She's like, I'm starving. Just I can, like, literally smell it. And, like, it's my mouth waters. so good. It was so good. <laughs> can we make that into a candle? <laughs> That's what I want my house to smell like. <laughs> like garlic and another, breadsticks? Another full circle. <laughs> all the Italian restaurants on Long Island, please, just start making candles. I will buy them all. Have Nana make you a candle. Ah. <laughs> Yes. That smells like garlic and breadsticks and yeah. vodka sauce and seasoned uh, ground beef or whatever. I don't know. like Meatballs. Meatballs. Yeah, there you go. Sausage. <laughs> that would smell amazing. Chicken cutlets. 
But then everybody that walked into the house, they'd be like, oh, what are you cooking? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> cooking a candle right now. It's my candle. <laughs> I'll give you some subpar Italian food. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. It's like if there's one thing that I wish we would have would have done more research on, like being that we are such big foodies, we probably should have researched the food before we moved here. Well, I, would that make you not move here? Maybe. No. The food sucks. <laughs> we went to Bucky's. We're like, oh my god, the food's so great. Then we moved here, and like we're only thirty minutes away from Bucky's. I know, but like we there's like. 25 mexican spots within a mile radius of our house and they that's, all suck that's insane to me like th- like why are there so many like i don't know why when they're, they're so not even good like what well, are you guys doing they're good for the audience that they cater to we don't fit the demographic here I that's mean, why we had to go to like n- that side of town the brentwood of <laughs> right because they, actually there is a brentwood tennessee but yeah that's where all the major country stars live apparently. yes but absolutely nothing like brentwood long island yeah we had to go to like the brentwood side of our town where like primo had all of his fake chrome on his gmc yukon outside with the big chrome wheels yes. and every piece of fake chrome from AutoZone you can buy there just short it just didn't say el jefe on it you guys know what I'm talking about. You know. That was parked outside. I knew it was going to be good. And we were walking into this place with a whole bunch of Hispanic people. Yes. I was like, okay, yeah. yeah. I felt like a giant walking in there because everybody <laughs> in front of me was so short. Yes. I was like, oh, that lady looks like my grandma. <laughs> <laughs> no, but literally, like, it's... I'm not saying it for any other reason besides that it's just a fact. We don't live in a very diverse neighborhood. Right. It's it's weird for both of us. We are the young ones in this neighborhood. We're young. Yeah. I am part Hispanic. <laughs> I don't look it, so my neighbors don't know it. But, like, <laughs> it's if you get what I'm saying, it's not diverse. Yeah, your dad passes as Italian. Our neighbor thought his Somewhat. name was Vino. Vino. <laughs> no, didn't he say something else? No, no, he said Vino. I thought it was something else. Yeah, he's like, oh, hey, daddy, I met your father-in-law, Vino. Vino. <laughs> yeah. So we got to, we, we travel a little outside of town to yeah. get what we want. Because these old people around here like bland food. Yeah, they're no very in their life. they're very much yeah, old school, like older generation white bland things. I can't play my music too loud in my garage. I want to upset my neighbors. Yeah, I told you that the other day. I was like, "Let me turn that down." Like the neighborhood is so quiet and Danny's blasting like It's my garage. I can do what I want. Yeah, but like it's my keep garage. it in the garage. It's my garage. I can do what I want. <laughs> I finally have a garage now. Can't tell me to do just my garage. Keep it in the garage. It was in the garage. It was. <laughs> it was in the garage. It's my garage. I can do what I want. I waited my entire life to have my own garage. It's mine now. Can't tell me to do it. You waited your whole uh, 30. 32 years. 32 years? Yeah. Some people wait longer, some people don't ever. Worked my ass off. All right. Well, I'm not going to be any more morbid than I already have been. Please. (laughs) But I am starving. Speaking of food, this is not making it any better. We're about to go make some. Are we making tacos or sandwiches? Sandwiches. (laughs) Barbacoa. Beef barbacoa. Tacos for tomorrow. It's Tuesday. Tomorrow's Tuesday. I think I have something else on the menu. The fuck? (laughs) We'll see. We we didn't make tacos last week, so we might have to this week. Yeah. All right, guys. Thank you for listening. We'll catch you next week. It's been real. We appreciate all of everyone that listens. Keep on sharing. Yes, we appreciate that you share. Share with everyone. Share with your friends, your family. 
your coworkers, not grandma. And uh, actually, this one wasn't too bad. We didn't really say, like, fuck too much. <laughs> on that note, uh, every new episodes drop every Tuesday at, at 8 a.m. on all of your major podcast platforms, on Wednesdays on YouTube. And uh, the camera's going to go right there. It's just not there yet. <laughs> you couldn't see me right now anyway. I'm wearing a camouflage sweatshirt because I'm cold. So, yeah. Uh, it's really cold down here. And that's it. Who's fucking? Who's fucking? <laughs>